We distribute and sell head-to-toe personal protective equipment. We also do uniforms and workwear. We have a specialist logo facility, uh, janitorial supplies and site safety supplies. So there's a big gas consumption on this site and the, the customer wanted to reduce that down as much as they can. What we're doing is it's taking quite a big portion of, of the heated load away by just, just heating the offices, which will work quite well with a, with a wet system. Well, as a business, we're looking to try and be carbon neutral by 2030. So as well as solar panels and fast car charges, we basically looked at the heating of the company uh, and after extensive research, realised that a ground source heat pump was the best way forward. So a ground source heat pump is essentially just a fridge in reverse really, so what it's doing is it's, it's taking some low grade energy from a closed loop system that's taken from the ground, taking that energy out of the ground with a refrigeration system and then putting a little bit of electrical energy into that to kind of boost it up to a more usable temperature that you can use for heating hot water. Underground, a metre down, you've generally got kind of a 10 degree ambient all year round temperature. The lower you go down, you know, you're starting to pick up more temperature, you know, better for efficiencies overall. So this system is a vertical ground source system, so we've done some drilling outside so to, to get a closed loop ground loop system in and then we brought that into the building and that's where we're going to be extracting the energy from. I think the return on it is about seven to eight years, but it's not just about the money, it's about doing the right thing as well basically. We, we all know at the moment there's an issue with gas for the whole of the UK and obviously we will not be reliant on gas anymore. So we'll be here for a week in terms of the installation and we'll be decommissioning the existing gas boiler. We'll then be installing the equipment, which for this project is a 12 kilowatt CTC GSI unit with integrated hot water cylinder connected to 225 meter deep boreholes. And then we have some additional work to upgrade the radiators in the offices.